Hello and welcome. It's um, News Labour Sports here, and today we're going to talk about Arsenal and Manchester City. Remember that the game is coming up right tonight. Football is finally back in England. Uh, we saw the games returning in Spain. We had a couple of games played yesterday. Barcelona uh, picking up that vital win uh, in the Spanish La Liga that takes them uh, just about five points clear of their nearest rivals and, of course, arch rivals, Real Madrid. So, Barcelona prime to are definitely putting themselves in prime position to be able to win the Spanish La Liga yet again. For Real Madrid, it's a case of win all your games and hope that Barcelona keep dropping the ball and keep making mistakes. But Barcelona don't seem like they are about to make mistakes. As we have seen, uh, Ansu Fati getting on the, onto the score sheet yesterday, scoring five goals uh, for Barcelona at just the age of 17. And uh, then, of course, we, we also saw Lionel Messi uh, making it two uh, for the uh, Camp No side. But now let's go to England. Football is finally back. Probably the most watched league around the world. The most watched football league around the world. Uh, many could say to be the most entertaining, to be the most thrilling game uh, uh, league around the world. But it has been on suspension because of the, co the, uh, the aspects of COVID-19. And today they return with two fixtures uh, for teams that had a game in hand. First off, first off, at around 8 p.m., we'll have the game between Aston Villa and uh, Sheffield United. Remember that Sheffield United are well primed uh, to put themselves in position to qualify for UEFA Champions League positions, or better yet, uh, the Europa League at the very worst for uh, the team that earned its promotion to uh, the Premier League. For Aston Villa, they have the likes of uh, McGinnis coming back. Uh, they have almost everyone having returned from injury. So Smith will uh, will be very, very happy with the fact that he has a fully uh, fit squad. He has everyone available for him to be able to push uh, for survival of the Premier League. Many had pitted them to be able to be, to be one of those teams that will survive uh, the acts from the Premier League and perform quite well in the league given the experience that they have. But they have really struggled to, you know, to have performances in the they have struggled to get results. They have struggled to pick up three points every once in a while. And uh, for Jack Grealish and his team, he has been phenomenal uh, for, for Aston Villa. But him being phenomenal has not really uh, guaranteed them success on the pitch and, and also success to be able to climb on, onto, the top of the, on, onto the top of the low. But later on in the night, it's a case of usual tormentors taking up their usual culprits and that is Manchester City entertaining Arsenal. The last the last six games between these two sides have, have all gone in favour of Manchester City who have picked up six wins from their last six games. So where does this put Arsenal? Those are probably questions we'll need to have a discussion. We'll, we'll have to wait and see if they'll be able to respond tonight. Arsenal will be buoyed with the fact that they have everyone literally having returned from injury. They have Premier Kubamian, they have Lacazette, you have Danny Sebayos as well available. You have Chambers who has come back from that injury as well. Uh, the, the looming factors at Arsenal are just the fact that Opiere Mary Kubamiang is here to put pen to paper. Bukayo Saka is here to as well put pen to paper, but they are all available for selection. Martinelli, who was really impressive uh, under Ateta, is also back into contention. He's come back from that injury and is available. Hector Bellerin is available. Yeah, Maitland Niles is available. For, uh, for, for Manchester City, they also have literally everyone available. But the most impressive returnee is definitely going to be Leroy Sane, a gentleman who loves uh, to play against Arsenal. Kevin De Bruyne is also available for this game. The last time these two sides faced, it was a Kevin De Bruyne party. Will it be the same today? I think so. I definitely think so. Sergio Aguero Kun is also available. He definitely loves to score against Arsenal. And so he will be one of those that you can be definitely looking out for. Um, can Arsenal pick up a win today? I highly doubt. I think Manchester City have a lot in their ambition to be able to beat up on, uh, on, on Arsenal. But for us, you know, they will be looking at to uh, hopefully that uh, uh, their new coach, that is Mikel Ateta, who is an apprentice uh, to, 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 to that is uh, Pep Guardiola, will have learned a couple of things here and then to be able to, uh, you know, to beat up on his old master. Can the apprentice beat up on his master? 
Um, I highly doubt because their master has so much at his disposal to be able to pick up a win against that is uh, Arsenal. So the game is on tonight at 11 p.m. Don't miss this fixture. Arsenal versus Manchester City, a fixture that will always provide goals, a fixture that will always provide entertainment. For, for the fans out there, I, I, it's going to be an empty stadium, but what has been promised is that they are going to have a virtual appearances for, for, for that is for the fans to be able to you know to watch the game online so it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, and how technology is going to be utilized because we also know that they are going to provide corner sections where uh, players will be able to go and celebrate uh, in different positions of the pitch of players to go and celebrate their goals so it's it's going to be interesting to see how creative the premier league can get but what is fascinating is there are no ball boys you know, and they are saying that every time the ball goes out of the pitch, they are going to uh, sanitize it. So, uh, a lot of safety precautions are being put in place uh, by the by the Premier League to ensure safety of the players, safety of the different staff, but also that the Premier League continues. And Liverpool could definitely find themselves winning. Should Arsenal be able to pick up a win today, and Liverpool beat up on on old on uh, their local rivals Everton, then ever then Liverpool could become the English Premier League champions before they even play uh, the second game after Project Restart. It's me, Moses Echodo, and the entire team at News Libra, and we're saying enjoy the games as they kick off today.